we all make decisions off emotions and then we back them up with logic. And so the logical reason I moved here was in 2014, 2015, you know, Jacksonville was arguably the most undervalued market in America. It was always sort of the stepchild of Florida and it was great value opportunities for value add multifamily, which is what we were, we were growing our business focused on at the time. And so that was the the kind of logical reason um, from a business standpoint, but really it's just, we, we evaluated, went to a lot of places and just decided this is where we wanted to raise our kids. And, and so that's why we moved to St. Augustine and started buying in Jacksonville and Daytona, and Orlando and such. And kind of then we expanded throughout the Sunbelt and such. But when I came down here, there was no business yet here. We weren't doing any investing on large scale here yet. We bought some existing apartment communities. I had no employees here when I moved here. And then steadily, some of our senior leaders moved down, some of our other team. And then we've mostly everybody we've hired here, which has been exciting and an interesting part of the, thinking about investing here is for our business and, you know, finding incredible talent um, who has the background and skills necessary for the jobs we've hired for. There isn't enough talent pool here historically. Um, but what I found to be amazing is that, and this was very different when I lived in Pennsylvania, that when somebody, you know, say they live in New York or Atlanta or uh, Denver or Miami or Palm Beach or Dallas, those are common places where the people with the talent we're looking for live today. When we fly them into uh, Jacksonville and they come and see the area and they come to our offices and they come and spend a weekend, we try to get them to spend as much time here as we can. They always want to move here. And they, like so many other people, have realized what a great place, not just for the economic reasons, but just great quality of life, great weather, beaches, et cetera. And, and so almost everybody we've hired, we have 140, 50 team members here. Almost all of them have moved here from somewhere else for the opportunity. And even when people leave us for a variety of reasons, they never leave the area. They stay and because they, they fall in love with the same reasons that we have. That makes a lot of sense, man. It's funny because I think about, you know, I'm I'm one of these data points of people that moved up from Miami five years ago, right? Like folks that are just coming to the area. And I remember, I remember when I was moving here, I was telling you before, right? I've been on this like journey of community creation for business development. And I left my my job down there where I was doing it with an opportunity to prove it at a different scale in a place that I wasn't from, with a tech startup here in the in the local ecosystem. And I remember thinking to myself that I was going to come up here, my quality of life was going to go up, my cost of living was going to go down, and I would pay a tax in like economic opportunity and, you know, kind of like that whole talent thing and maybe even like the network that I got to surround myself with because I was, I had a wonderful network in Miami and and what I have found is that this place has exceeded my expectations and everything, right? Like the quality of people that, come here, they stay and they see it. And the quality of life might be the magnet, but people do come here and stay because they find the economic opportunity because it's growing. And because of that, you have this network of folks that that continues to level up and level up and stuff like that. So I, I, I find that to be a very likely story of how easy it must be to recruit people here for talent. Yeah, it's been it's been amazing. That's why we're investing heavily here, and it's why we believe in it. And I can't see any future, any way that that Jacksonville does not continue to explode as a magnet for companies, for jobs, for population growth. It's got every element any city could want to have, and uh, it's going to continue to explode. There's no reason that Jacksonville is not a bigger market than Orlando. There's no reason it's not as a bigger market, stronger market than than Tampa. And I've lived in Tampa as well. I mean, it's it's got everything that any other you know southeast market has and and more. Let, let's talk about that, right? So you know, we 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 brief, we just touched on like what brought you here personally. Touched on what brought your company here. Now we're talking about investing here, what you're saying, it has all these things that these other markets have and it's undervalued. Can you, what are the things, what are the things that you look for in a market that you're saying that this place has it and people aren't recognizing yet? Well, there's, and when I say it has everything, I'm taking into account that it has what, you know, JWB and, and we're about to do, which is revitalize the downtown. Right now, that's the only thing it doesn't have is a, is a vibrant downtown but we have, you know, beaches, we've got a lot, you know, both, you know, ocean and and great, you know, intercoastal water. We've got phenomenal weather, best weather in, in Florida, in, in my opinion, by far. 
I talked to a guy today, a guy who runs the second largest private equity firm in, in the world. And he told me, which I didn't know when I had a, a long story while I talked to him this morning, but so yeah, I have a condo in St. Augustine. And I tell you, as we said to me, I've lived around the world and travel all the time. He said, there's no beaches I love better than than right there. It's the best in the world. And, you know, we've got a great port. We've got a lot of reasons why, you know, there'd be incredible job growth. We've got, you know, you know, military base. We have, you know, all the kind of elements. We've got great health care and, and continue to grow and improve. We've got major sports in the Jaguars, who two or three weeks ago I was more confident in, but are still still right. uh, looking good. You know, you get access to to get to other major markets easily, like you know, Orlando as an, as an example. You got a great airport, but you know, we got more. We have more um, churches per mile in this area of the country than anywhere else in in, in America. It's a, a place where it's a, where it couldn't be better better place to raise a family. Uh, I'm a little biased to St. John County over Duval today, but some of the work that we're going to do will change that. And what make St. John County has that Duval doesn't yet have is is incredible schools, and that's mm-hmm. a big driver. But that's still a, ties into the Duval growth because if, if schools are a top priority and and you can't find which there are some great private schools in Duval, well then you go 20 minutes down the road and go to the schools in St. John County and commute in right, and and that's why you know Saint, the biggest reason why St. John's exploding because the schools are so much better than everywhere else in Florida. It's not even close. Yeah, and so it's got, got everything you could, you could want. Incredible people, a lot less traffic than everywhere else in Florida, which is a big deal to me. Other than downtown St. Augustine that I love, rarely deal with significant traffic. The only thing we're missing is is a vibrant downtown that draws people in and uh, has a lot to do. And that's a big part of, of course, what we're doing um, here together. And and I think once well, the great thing is when you have a vibrant downtown, not only is it going to do great things for the downtown, not only is that going to going to do a lot for businesses coming in into town and uh, companies coming there and and certainly people able to live there and and the vi- the downtown re- uh, completely transform, but. But that the ripple effect that it has, and there's so much studies that you look at this that it has to the suburbs and all the surrounding area. It's a, it's a all you know ships rise kind of situation. When you have a vibrant downtown, everything will benefit, everything will improve when you have that. Man, you you hit on so many things that we talk about a lot here, right? Like I, I so for me, the pitch of when I first got to Jacksonville and immediately started evangelizing Jacksonville to all like my Miami buddies. I kept looking around and thinking I lived in Huntington beach, California in like the early two thousands. And I'm like, this feels like orange County, California, 40 years ago, right? Like it has all the things you said, these wonderful beaches, these great, like attachment to other areas and a, in a, an amazing weather and a really high quality lifestyle. And that's that, that's that emotional sale, right? Like that's that emotional, why you want to move here. But then you started talking about, the future of this stuff and kind of like the demographics and the things that are coming that make investors want to put their money here. This idea that it's a very stable economy and it has logistics and fintech and healthcare tech and these different things that make it thrive. And yet it doesn't have this like vibrant downtown yet. It doesn't have that like urban core that works as this like nuclear reactor that attracts jobs and attracts all these other things that have already found their way here. And that is a giant, giant opportunity. 